Recording on? Go ahead, I'm recording. Okay. All right, Akiyon, hey, Shalom, Akiyon. Shalom. All right, first off, we'll give all praises to uh, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahushah. Yahushah. All right, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone to rule well. Please and blessings to the elect. All right, scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, preaching, living the word of sincerity and truth. The house of David. Shalom to the select sisters out there that are humble, listening, following the correct doctrine. All right, this is brothers from GMS Dallas. Uh, back with another lesson to the spirit power and might of Yahweh by Shemel And so uh, tonight we just want to go into um, a little bit of history and also a prophecy uh, as far as uh, concerning the two kingdoms. All right, the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom. All right, right the twelve tribes of Israel, how they were how they were split up according to the curses, things that happened in history, and how now we're at the time of the Most High is bringing those two kings back together. That's right. Okay, according to prophecy and according to things going on, to where we're going to be back to one nation. And all this hatred amongst the tribes is going to be done away with, you know. Because right now, if you're paying attention, if you know who, who the 12 tribes are, which is your so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, all right, there's all type of hatred among, amongst these tribes, you That's know. Right. All right, looking one, looking down the other, okay. Um, Jake thinking certain tribes think they've got another tribes, all right, or just all our hatred, which we all being um, persecuted, we're all hated um, um, around the world, you know. We're all considered as a bottom, okay? They call the, the so-called Negroes and, and uh, West Indians and Puerto Ricans, I mean, West Indians and Haitians, they call us niggas, okay, jigaboos, Latin tribes, they call you wetbacks. Right. You know, you Native Americans, you know, but they, they, they call you redskins, you know what I'm saying? They, they make fun of you on Thanksgiving, so they it's all type of hatred amongst our tribes. But we also hate ourselves, man, but it's according to uh, prophecy, according to the scriptures. That's right. So we just kind of going to go into that, you know what I'm saying? And Lord willing, but it's edified. Okay. Uh, so I grab the first scripture, uh, Deuteronomy 28 54. Okay. I got you right here. I'm about to share, share okay. the screen. This is Deuteronomy 28 and 54. Okay. This is Deuteronomy 28. And fifty four. So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil towards toward his brother and toward the wife of his bosom and toward the remnant of his children, which he shall leave. Right. So that, that's what we're seeing right now. Because when you read up uh, in the beginning of Deuteronomy twenty eight, it goes into the first fifteen verses. Half if we all the laws, statutes, and commandments, how we get all the blessings. When you go down to the, I'll be the 15th verse, it starts to say, if we don't follow the blessings, all these curses are going to come upon us. Okay? Right. And, so, and this is one of those curses, man. Uh, if you read that one more time, I'll go for sure. Good. So that, this is Deuteronomy 28 and 54, so that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eyes. Right, so we, I saw right there. Good. So we, at one point, we was tender and delicate among each other, man. Okay, we, we actually, uh, when, you, when someone is, is showing you tender love or whatever, or there's some, there's something that's delicate, you, you take care of that, man. You, you have care for that. You watch over that, and that's, and that's what we did at one time. Yeah. You know, we, we was all together as 12 tribes. You know what I'm saying? We, 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 were, uh, we were pretty much together and all, all in one accord for the most part. That's right. You know, but this is a curse now. Go ahead, bro. Okay. Uh his eyes shall be evil towards his brother and toward the wife of his bosom and toward the remnant of his children, which he shall leave. So right, that, so, that, so now, because of those curses, now look at us, man. All right, the eye is evil towards his, his brother now. All right, anytime we uh, walk, walk, when you see Jake in the streets, man, you automatically have a, a negative uh, idea about Jake. That's the truth. You know? You know, yeah, we have a, when you see a guy, you go, you look at him all back, you got a scowl, it ain't no, uh, it ain't no, what's up, hey, Shalom, how you doing? It's all back, like, look at this nigga, man. Yep, you know, this nigga, the whole ass uh, nigga. Yeah, this a whole ass nigga, you know what I'm saying? So that's how we're looking now, and that's, and that's also in the vision, that's also amongst our tribes now as well. Okay? You got the Latin tribes that don't like, um, especially Mexicans, they don't like Judah. Judah don't like the Mexicans. Yeah. All right, Latin tribes don't like the Latin tribes. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Like we was talking about, you know what I'm saying? Levi, we talking about Levi, they don't mess with nobody. 
you know, but it's, it's automatically you have a negative uh, mindset towards your brother, man. Okay, you want to make fun of him. Okay, all, all type of manner of ill will uh, towards each other now, man. And that, that was one of the curses that came upon us. That's right. All right, and so we're still living out those curses today. That's right. You know, you can't, it's, it's, you, you go into a Latin spot, you automatically un uneasy. I done did this before. Been to a Latin spot where it's mostly uh, the Latin tribes. You, you, there's, a, there's a feeling of tension and unease. You can tell eyes on it. They look at you like, man, what the hell are you doing here? Mm -hmm. You know, so you try to pick up on that women like, well, what's up, man? You know? Yeah, and that's how it be. We walk into a, one of a, a setting with the other tribes. You know, there's there's not a feeling of being at ease. You know, you can tell they looking at you, talking about you and shit. You know, mm -hmm. but that's all according to the curses, man. What we mm -hmm. had to what we had to go through for going off against the laws, statutes, commandments of the heavenly Father. That's right, man. Correct. Okay? That's right. Uh, kind of trying to say, man. What's that thing that be? Well, maybe you might guess. Uh, that's right. It's pure uh, hatred. Grab, uh, if I can say this, <laughs> pure hatred is for no reason, man. What has a so-called white, uh, so-called black man did to the so-called uh, Latino, and vice versa, man? You know, if anything, you yeah. know, if anything, we uh benefited from one another, man. You know what I'm saying? When when uh the Alamo was going on, man. You know, the Mexicans were fighting against, you know, uh slavery, bro. You know. Come on, come on. You know. That's right. That's right. Yep, we, we helped each other, man. We helped each other at one, yeah, we, at one given time. I'm sorry, go ahead. No, no, go ahead, bro. No, you got it. Go, go ahead. ahead. No, I'm saying, yeah, that's right, man. We uh, At one point in time, we helped each other. You know, but now we're just, we just out there bad, man, hating amongst each other, but don't even realize that we the greatest on the planet Earth together, man. Right. And that, and that we hated together, you know? That's right. And ultimately, it's because of the, the, the son of perdition spreading all his lies, man. Now, uh, we we believe in a, in a so called uh well in the oppression what he what he says about the other tribes man you know which I've personally speaking have witnessed myself when when uh you know, a so called Latino or Mexican leave out the room they automatically start talking bad about Mexicans man you know what I'm saying and vice versa yeah, yeah. and vice versa but nah, see nah, a lot nah, of yeah, you tell this story. Mm -hmm, but see a lot of Latinos they hold on to you know what I'm saying? What the white man says because the of that like that their skin complexion, man. You see? And so it just it's just hatred and it comes from the uh that that son of perdition, man. The son the seed of Satan, bro. And our people have taken on to these lies, man. That's why we can't accept one another, bro. Yep, as like I said, always me up, it's a curse and that son of perdition Esau, man. That's how he was able to take us down. Divide and conquer, man. That's right. You know, he divided like the Native American tribes. He that's how he took took them over. He was putting tribes and clans against each other in that nature. And then that fueled that hatred, man. That's right. And his propaganda. You know, so now you got the Latino tribe that speak Spanish. They think just because they speak two languages, they think they're better than the Negroes. And that's right. Now knowing that's a yeah, that's the language of the oppressors. I mean, that's the language of the conquistadors, man. That's right. Of Spanish. You know they beat Yo, go ahead. No, I was disagreeing with y'all. That's that's the language of Spaniards, which were Europeans, man. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Which did heinous things to the to the natives, to uh, to the so-called natives of the uh, of uh, uh, Central America and South America, man. You know, there's accounts of them, you know, what I'm saying uh, having context of who could be the most bar, uh, 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 what's wrong, uh, who who can engage in, in the most barbarism. Or bar uh, who could be the most barbaric? So you would have cases where they they cut somebody uh, arm off. It's like, oh, you cut his arm off. Well, watch this. Cut a woman's uh, uh, baby out, stomp it, man. And now our people have been totally uh, uh, alluding to the to to uh, uh, so-called uh, Latinos. They're totally assimilated to that culture. You know what I'm saying? Kinsey, yes, yeah, things of that nature. All that shit came from uh, Europeans, man. But our people hold on to that like it's something to be pride, uh, have pride over, man. Yeah. And it ain't nothing but bullshit, man. Yeah, but if I could also say, you know, that uh, uh, what, they, what they call Mexican pride or whatever, you know, not knowing that that, uh, that, that the roots come from from uh, when they took, the, the Spanish took, took them as slaves. That's right. You know, the only reason they speak in Spanish is because they were put in slavery. Thinking like, oh, I speak Spanish, you know, uh, 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 that's something to be proud of, you know. You know, the uh, uh, you speak in English, you speak English and Spanish both, 
uh, two languages that, that were taught by your oppressor to you, you know. So, so you know, you got, uh, 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 you got Ishkar, you got Judah, living in the same spots, you know, put in that same position, but they want to uh, go around and kill each other because of uh, either of a color or a language or, or, or where they think they came from, you know, not that 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 was a uh, implant. You know that hatred was implanted by their oppressor. That's right. You know. That's right. That's right, man. Yep. All that all that thing do is being able to speak English or Spanish. That then get you a dollar, an extra dollar or two for being bilingual. That's all that shit gets you, man. Mm-hmm. They don't they don't make they don't make you better than than uh, than the, the Negroes, the darker the darker nations, man. Yep. You know, since since we talk about that, somebody can grab that real quick. That Jeremiah fifty and thirty three. Let's see Jeremiah, Jeremiah 50. I got Sorry. you. I'll get that right okay. quick. Jeremiah 50 and 30. I mean, I got, I got it right here. Oh, you got it, my brother. Slide. Okay. Okay, Kyle, Kyle. All right, this is Jeremiah 50 and 33. Yeah. Let's see. 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 You know what I'm saying? We we caught hell in, in our perspective lots, but nonetheless we caught hell together, man. We were all oppressed. You know what I'm saying? That, but that, that's crazy how Jay going around thinking they better fighting each other, but we was all catching hell by the same dude, man. That's right. All right, we every, all of us are in the same. The system, which was that, or a system goes back to where a pit. The pit was dug by Esau, and then he got all the, all the tribes down there fighting amongst each other, man, killing each other. That's right. You know, and hatred. You know what I'm saying? When you go into Hebrew, uh, that word uh, together. That word Hebrew means to be alike. We was oppressed alike together. You know what I'm saying? We the so-called the, the Negro, uh, the Southern King was taken on cargo slave ships from uh, the coast of uh, Spain and Africa over here to the New World. And then you got on the flip side uh, the, the Latin tribes uh, in Central South America. They were taken on slave ships to the Old World. You know what I'm saying? From mm. King Ferdinand, Queen Isabella. You know what I'm saying? So we both went on slavery on ships. You know what I'm saying? We called hell together. They, they both of us got. Well, alligator bait. We all got got mutilated and, and destroyed in, in slavery. That's right. You know, said so we we all we all got a, got Hebrew beat out of us. You know, what I'm saying because the Latin tribe they spoke certain dialects of Hebrew. Because uh, I forget the book that was in, but when Columbus came over, he had Hebrew interpreters. Mm-hmm. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So they were already speaking Hebrew. You know, but uh, and then we were singing Kumbaya. You know, it was that that's a that's a form of Hebrew. Uh, Kwam, uh, Kwambaya, you know. So that they they beat they beat the Hebrew out of us as well, man. They just gave the Latin tribes another language for our Spanish along with English. And they just gave us English, you know. That's right. Keep going, bro. Done. Uh, all right. Uh, and they were pressed together, and all that took them captives held them fast, and they refused to let them go. Right, and they took us captives, and they held us fast, and they refused to let us go, even until this day, man. That's right. We still all relative to the ghettos, the barrios, and reservations. All of yep. us, every last single uh, tribe. See at the bottom. Okay, we all in the hood. Yep, at the bottom, well, at the bottom of the totem pole, getting getting shitted on. That's right. And looking at each other you know, like like catch catching. No, go ahead. I, I'm sorry. Oh man, yeah. Oh, slack out. You cut out. No, no, no. I was like, go ahead, brother. I right, see. I was cut. I cut you off. Oh man, no, no, you good. Uh, no, I'm just saying that we we all at the bottom, man. Uh, catching hell from everyone else, man. All, all the other nations are looking down on us equally, man. That's right. That's nothing. Don, That's right. You know, uh, if, if I could say, even if my mom, you know, she lives down there in the cliff, you know, south of, in the south part of, of Oak Cliff. You know, she got Ishikar living right next to her. She got Judah right in front of her. That whole, that whole area is just mixed with them. But... You know, uh, you you hear, you know, oh, this this person got their house robbed by two black. You know, our house got robbed when I was like sixteen or fifteen by two black guys. You know, and then you got Ishkar going around egging people's cars and just breaking shit. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, we were pressed together, but at the same time, you know, we're uh, uh, and, um, causing affliction to each other. You know, just just because of that that hatred that Esau put on us, but. You know, uh, 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 if you you know if you look at like a uh, uh, for example, my mom or my dad, you know they look at a, at a you know if my sister would get with some white dude, it'd be like, oh okay, you know that's you know they would they wouldn't mind, right? 
But if she were to get with some black, with a black guy, so-called you know black guy, saying? yeah, so-called black black dude, and then oh man, then I, they, it, it would be a well. According to my family, it would be a real problem, and I'm I'm pretty sure that goes with the with a uh, uh, a lot of uh, Ishikari families. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's uh, it'd be it'd be World War Three a lot of times, man. You know. That's that, that how it is, but I know that, man, you get with a Jake, man, that child is going to be even more beautiful, man, no matter what tribe it's from. Right. But uh, even I'm, I'm guilty of that sometimes. I, I don't do it uh, anymore, but when I first came into Truth, I used to see a Judite chick with, like, an Iskarite dude, and my first reaction would be like, hey, what the fuck? But then, like, three seconds out, like, I'm tripping. That's that's an Israelite, bro. What, what, what you doing? Right. You know what I'm saying? So even I, was, I used to be guilty of that a lot of times. I, I, I would look uh, have, a, have a certain look on my face, you know what I'm saying, seeing, seeing that Judite chick with an Iskarite dude. You know what I'm saying? But then I, I, I had to snap out of it. But now, it's just like, okay, no matter what it is, man, that's the issue like that's coming out. Right. You know what I'm saying? But even I had to check myself for the first few years. I used to be the truth. You know what I'm saying? Because I just had a reaction because it's, it's been completely ingrained in us, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? They, they completely beat hatred of, of the tribe now. Because why? Because we was cursed already, but he saw further the affliction. That's right. You know what I'm saying? He, he didn't help out none. You know what I'm saying? He, he, he further he further and, and fueled that fire of hatred amongst our nation to even take us down even more. Right. And he you used know? that color as, as a means to separate us, man. Mm-hmm. That, 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 that color, uh, this, the, the, the whole concept of race has been ingrained in us, man. You know? That's why we don't see past black, white, brown, you know what I'm saying? All this was made by the so-called white man. Because there's only three, okay. there's only three uh, 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 races according to the scriptures, man. You see? Mm-hmm. Yep. The sons of the men, sons of uh, the wicked, and sons of God. Yep. That's right. And that's it. That's right. There ain't no black, white, anyway. red, you know. Yeah. That's that's really yeah, so, all yeah, that. all that BS, man. That's just That was a so-called white man using, changing the change of landmarks so he could put himself as, you know what I'm saying, the, uh, the number one race. You know? Oh, my God. That's right, that's right. You know, and now, now look at us. Yeah, he fed that to our people, that poison to our people, man. Yep. yep. And now, because the Latin tribe, the scripture say, Ephraim is a cake, not turn, so they're a lot lighter because of the various captivities that they were in. Right. And the various Englands, now they're, they're a little closer to being so called white, so now there's there's division in that, like the brother was going into. Right. You know, being, being lighter than us, but, you know, we're still all Jacobs at, at, at the end of the day, man. You know? Right. Uh, yeah. But now, bro, if you can grab a First uh, uh, Kings uh, chapter eleven. Oh, I got it. Uh, All right, uh, read verse eleven and then jump down to verse twenty-eight. The history when it actually we really start to be uh, split. You know, what I'm saying we already had the hatred and the curses, but at this time, this is when King Solomon went off and started building uh, shrines and, and everything into it through his uh, wives and concubines. Started going off and worshiping other gods. This one is what the most I told him, and he's now I'm going to rent the kingdom from. You know? Go ahead, you go ahead. Go ahead, Art. All right. <laughs> well, since you mentioned that, I'm going to start at verse 9, you know. Okay. This is First Kings chapter 11, verse 9. And the Lord was angry with Solomon because his heart was turned from the Lord of uh, the Lord power of Israel, which had appeared unto him twice. And had commanded him concerning these things that he should not go after other gods. Right. But he right. Right. But he kept not that which the Lord commanded. Right. So he didn't keep what the Lord commanded, man. All right. That's that's why uh, we only have forty years of peace because he didn't keep what the Lord commanded. That's why we under curses because we we didn't keep what what the Yahweh Shah had commanded for us to do. That's why we had that hatred. Okay. I'm on, I'm on side tribes now. That's why. Uh, uh, men don't stay with the women. Women driving the men out. You know, Jake, Jake and brawls fighting each other, turning up their own neighborhoods. You know what I'm saying? Killing each other. Well, I, it all goes back to idol worship, man, and and, and following after other other guys. You no, know? go ahead, bro. Verse eleven. Wherefore the Lord said unto Solomon, For as much as this is done of thee, and thou hast not kept my covenant and my statutes which I have commanded thee. I will surely rent the kingdom from thee and will give it to thy servant. Mm-hmm. He rent the kingdom from thee and give it to thy servant. And who was that, man? Uh, that who got the northern kingdom was Jeroboam, uh, the son of Nebai, who was Solomon's servant. 
You know? All right, uh, jump to verse 28, bro. Verse 28. And the man Jeroboam was a mighty man of valor, and Solomon, seeing the young man that he was in, in industrious, yes, oh, yeah, was industrious, he made him ruler over all the charge of the house of Joseph. Mm -hmm. He made a ruler over the charge of the house of Joseph, man. And, and that's synonymous with Israel. Okay? That's synonymous with, with the northern kingdom. Okay? Because uh, Joseph had his two, his two sons were uh, Ephraim and Manasseh. And so now when you read the scriptures and the prophecies, uh, when you refer to the northern kingdom, it's either referred to as Joseph, Ephraim, or, or Israel. And that's who Jeroboam was a uh, made ruler over. Go ahead, Ark. And it came to pass, verse 29, and it came to pass at the time when Jeroboam went out of Jerusalem, that the prophet Ahijah, the, the uh, Shilonite, found him in the way, and he had clad himself with a new garment, and they too were alone in the field. And Ahijah cut a new garment that was on him and rent it in, and rent it in 12 pieces. Right, and those 12 pieces represent the, uh, the 12 tribes of Israel. Go ahead, Ark. Verse 31, and he said to Jeroboam, take thee ten pieces, for this, for thus saith the Lord, the power of Israel, behold, I will rent the kingdom out of the hand of Solomon, and will give ten tribes to thee. Mm -hmm. but, he, but he shall have one tribe for my servant David's sake, and for Jerusalem's sake, the city which I have chosen out of all the tribes of Israel. Right, and so that, that one tribe was, was uh, the king of Judah, the, the nation of, uh, I'm sorry, the tribe of Judah. You know what I'm saying? But, but uh, Jeroboam had the other, other ten tribes, man, so that was the really beginning of our kingdoms being being split, man. Okay. You know, and if you want to go into the story further, it really uh, is fueled when uh, when Jeroboam and Rehoboam kind of butt heads, man, as far as how, how Rehoboam was supposed to deal with uh, Israel. And instead of listening to the elders... Uh, to deal wisely, he listened to his uh, his uh, friends and his partners, you know what I'm saying, to, to, to put hell on them. And so that's when they, they separate themselves, man. That's when the kingdom split. And it's been like that for, It's been like that ever since, man. You know? That's right. Uh, tribes been, been looking down on each other. You know? Land tribes looking down on, on the uh, southern kingdom. So now now that's where we are to this day, man, in America. Still in the captivity. Still and still hating one another, man. That that split has never been been closed. That that breach has never been closed up. Yeah, two roaches you know looking at each other, crazy. You got a water bug. And that, a, I said two roaches looking at each other, crazy. You got a water bug. Yeah. A water bug and a regular cockroach looking at each other like ugh. And both of us are bottom yeah, feeders. Yeah. Both of us ain't got shit, but we got the nerve to look yeah. at each other, crazy, man. This is the mindset yeah. of our people, man. But we look at the so-called, yep. but the white man get the pass, man. Even, but hey, hey, we, we, we've been talking about, you know what I'm saying, the so-called Latino tribe. We can't negate, you know what I'm saying, uh, Judah. You know? Judah looks down at, at on, on Issachar, man. Call, call, them, call our people uh, wetbacks, man. When they come over here trying to make a living, man, the U.S. destroyed the, uh, uh, Mexico's uh, economy. You know what I'm saying? With the uh, NAFTA agreement, man. And flooded and flooded uh uh Mexico with uh uh that that uh GMO corn, man. And destroyed and, and, and destroyed the livelihood of those farmers, man. But that subsidized corn. So they came over here to get help when our people look down on them. You know? Yeah, yeah, man. Man, because they're taking uh, so called taking out all the jobs and stuff like that. But that, that's all that's that's crazy about our people because we all each side our people each tribe sides with the so called white man. To be against the other tribes. Yep. You know what I'm saying? They this card gets with the the Latin tribes get with the Esau. Look down on Jay because they darker. They consider us lazy. Uh, this is what Esau says. But we built up this place, man. And channel slavery that the Negroes, the so-called Negroes and the West Indians and Haitians built this place up, man. That's right. Channel slavery working hard in the hole, and it got transferred over to the uh, the Latin tribes now. Yeah. But now the Latin tribes are uh, with Esau thinking we lazy, and then the the the, the, uh, the the, the southern kingdom is what Esau calling uh, the Latin tribes wetbacks, mm, yeah, uh, uh, taking over tribes, yep. you know, taking over, taking over the country. Like, uh, uh, but uh, the southern part of America belongs to the Latin tribes. Yep. You know what I'm saying? You know, we we at one time kind of helped and fought each other uh, during slavery. 
That's promoting right. against Esau during slavery, you know? But now everyone slides sides against with the devil to be against each other. Yep. And a so-called white man is so cold that he'll talk shit about you. And then when you leave, you know what I'm saying? He'll talk, he'll talk shit to you with Issachar. But when you leave, he'll talk shit to you with Issachar, man. Mm-hmm. That, you know? That's what makes him. A, that's why he's a damn devil, man. He, he's a he's a slippery, slimy bastard, man. Sleazeball. And he just, he, yeah, he's a sleazeball, man. He, 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 he divides everyone, man. Talking about how everybody back, stabbing everybody in the back, pitting. Uh, other people get other nations, other tribes against each other. That's how he. That's how he does now in, in the world with his, with his policies. That's right. Now people okay. believe he's, it. He's 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 a, yeah. He's dividing kingdoms and all type of stuff, man. That's right. That's why it says in Daniel you the know? eighth chapter that with his policy he should rule the world, man. Lucy paraphrasing. You know what I'm saying? But that would and that that and that policy encompasses more than just his um. Uh, his laws, man, it's just what what he perceives as right. His his pseudo science, which is false science, his his uh wayward philosophy, all that he uses to to uh to control the world, man. That's why Issachar and Judah can't get along, cause they look at each other like they're separate. It's because one is black, another one, you know what I'm saying? Another one is brown. Nigga 25, 27 calling each, uh, calling themselves black. The hell you get that from, man? That's a yep. so-called white man. You see? That's right. That's right. He used that, that divide and conquer. That's really why he's still on side right now because he has the Lord's people uh, divided against each other. You know what I'm saying? God is going off and hate each other, man. So he, he's definitely going to be on top of the until we come back. You know? But now we be coming into that time to where... Now we as our prophecy and the elect is waking up, man. That's right. Okay. The flip, the flip side of it is now, see, as you see that, if you wasn't see now in the video, we, we got a, a Iskari brother with us. That's beautiful. You know what I'm saying? Actually, I, I'm, from, I'm from the tribe of Judah. I got two brothers from the Northern Kingdom. This brother right here is a Reubenite. That's right. You know what I'm saying? So, and that, that's the spirit that this kind of lesson kind of came out. I just thought about that. You know what I'm saying? This this is prophecy actually unfolding, man, to where the Northern Southern Kingdom is coming back together. On the same accord, man. On the spirit of mind of Yahweh, by Shimei on Shai. That's right. You know what I'm saying? This is this is prophecy actually being fulfilled right now, and right. It's, you know, it's only going uh, it's only going to get bigger and bigger, man. To where uh, the the twelve thousand from each tribe is going to wake up and come on, on together and sing that same song on one accord, man, and repent. All that's right, right. And, and, that, and that's when it's going to be go time, man. And we're going to be back in, 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 in our lot. You know what I'm saying? Ruling. That's right. Together man. as a nation, man. That's right. On, on the love of Yahweh, by Shimei on Shai. That's right. Okay. That's so right. real quick, um, uh, if y'all have anything to add, if you can grab uh, Isaiah chapter eleven, mm -hmm. and actually start it uh, start up. Uh, what is some of the root? Tell me, how shall I be in the root of Jesse inside the people? Uh, uh, twelve. Uh, was it like verse nine? Verse nine or ten? Okay, probably verse. Let me see here. Yep, it's verse ten. This is Isaiah eleven and ten. In that. In that day there shall be a root of Jesse, which shall stand for an ensign of the people. To it shall the Gentiles seat, and his rest shall be glorious. And it shall come. Oh, it's like I was going to say this. Yeah, the rest shall be glorious, man. Let's talk about your man. The, the root of Jesse, man. He stood for, for an ensign of the people, man, for a sign. Okay? Who the, who the Gentiles don't seek, man. So they were Jacob in a Gentile state of mind. That's right. Okay, because he said in the gospel, he, had, he, he said, uh, he, he was telling disciples, uh, he has another fold of sheep. You know what I'm saying? And he was referring to the northern tribe that was already over here, uh, fleeing the Syrian captivity over here in the Americas. So they, they still had to be brought in as well, man. But but that but the start of that was when Yahweh Shah sacrificed on his blood on, on the cross. You know what I'm saying? To, to bring the nation of Israel back to the Heavenly Father. Okay, the elect. Okay, which it was a, which it consists of uh, the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. That's right. Okay. Go ahead, from. And it shall come to pass in that day that uh, the Lord, well, Yahweh, shall, shall set his hand against the second time to recover the remnant of his people, which mm -hmm. shall be left from Assyria and from Egypt and from Path Pathros and from Cush and from uh, Elam and from Shinar and from Hamath. And from the islands of the sea, 
Mm -hmm. so we was all scattered, man. We were scattered uh, amongst all nations, man, according to the curses. That's right. All right, and so that's what's happening now. The, the, the elect amongst all those nations are being woken up right now, man. That's right. No okay. matter where they are. That's and, right. And, and, and it's not going to matter about um, the, the, the tone of your skin or what language. All that matters is that it's the truth that you have about Shemiah was shot and the spirit coming up on the elect men to wake up out of that, man. That's right. To, to put to put aside them, to, to not be ignorant of Satan's devices no more, of his uh, device of divide and conquer. You know what I'm saying? That's how this that's how this coward uh, is is winning, man. That's right. And so the elect is coming back under, under that banner, man, waking up. That's right. Man. Go ahead, bro. Come, brother. Say, you know, oh, yeah. that, that was also uh that's also a part of the curses, you know, um, putting that, um, putting that, that thought in our head, you know, or pretty much deceiving the uh, Israel that they were all, that they're all different, you know, that they're all from different nations and everything, you know, you, know, you got, uh, like we've been talking about Ishkar, thinking that they're Mexican, you know, and, uh, so-called Negroes that they're, um, uh, Africans. You know, you know, and, and and just just putting that thought in in, in all in, in all of Israel, to uh, uh, pretty much deceiving us, thinking that we're all that we're not all related, so to speak. You know, to uh, to put that uh, to push to push out that deception that we're not the uh, children of Israel. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, God, God, excellent point. That's exactly what he did. Man, he got Jake thinking they totally different nations. Yeah. You know, so like the brother mission, you got uh, the Negroes thinking they ham. Okay, it's a car. They just think they, they think they Mexicans, Puerto Ricans. They they call themselves a rich port. You know what I'm saying? They call themselves a damn port. Right. So we, we completely split up and going off, man, all over the place, man. Hey, well, if I'm not mistaken, that's in Deuteronomy 28 chapter, what we call a proverb and a byword, man. Exactly. And, and that's what we're seeing now. You know, mm -hmm. with this white, so-called white man, uh, taking over uh, the world, man. You know, he he removed those landmarks, man. You know, and, and so our true inheritance has been forgotten. You know what I'm saying? But like alluding to a land, to uh, Hosea the first chapter in the, in the land where we uh, it should be said that we are, aren't the people. Then it will be clear we are the people of the children of the Most High, man. And that's what's going on now. Yeah, I'm kind of, uh, sorry, you was cutting out. You said uh, Hosea the first chapter. Yeah, kind. Of. Slack, yeah. Kind of, kind of, yeah, 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 kind of, yeah, Jose, the first one in ten, yeah, we would say, we, we're not our people, we got done away with us, and then uh, we're at a time right now, in the land of the north, where it's going to be said that we are the children of the most high. That's right. You know what I'm saying? And that, that's the time we're coming there right now. Jake, Jake is waking up. That's right. You know? Kind of, uh, go ahead and continue that in Isaiah 11, not? Kind of, Isaiah 11 and 12, and, and he shall, shall set up an enzyme for the nations, and shall assemble the outcasts of Israel. And gather together the dispersed of Judah from the four corners of the earth. The right, so got the outcasts of Israel and the dispersed of Judah, man, those two kingdoms. That's beautiful, man. All right, we were cast out and dispersed, man, all over the place, man. That's right. So now we've been we've been gathered we've been gathered back together, man, under that banner of okay, how about Shimei was shot in unity. That's right. Go ahead, bro. The envy also of Ephraim shall depart. And the adversaries of Judah shall be cut off. Ephraim shall not envy Judah. And right, Judah Ephraim shall not envy Judah, man. Why? Because uh, in the spirit, uh, the scriptures tell that Judah is the head trial. He, the Lord's going to raise up the tents of Judah first. And that's what we're seeing. And uh, that the northern the north kingdom is following. But everybody know that everybody kind of follows after uh, Judah in the spirit anyway right now. Oh, man. Especially down here you know in saying? Texas, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody, yeah. everybody follows so-called Negro. I'm yeah. sorry, go ahead, Art. No, I'm just agreeing with you, Art. He is a car race, man. If you walking down the street, you hear some young teenagers talking, you would think that they're home, you know, and they're is a car race, you would think that was the, the group of a, of a Judites, man. Mm -hmm. You know? If you see yep. a lot of these yep. is a car race, you see them from the back, you're like, oh, that's a, that's you know, that's a Judite. Man, you, you you know they turn around they is a car race, man they faded up you know what I'm saying Jordans on their feet parsing their head you know what I'm saying sagging you know what I mean yep say all that all that all things that, that that Judah has made popular man the the, the northern kingdom uh, is doing man uh, it's case in point we went to a bar one time you might remember this uh, my caller 
um, that ball there in Dallas to where it was uh, most of Iskar Rice, but I was like, man, oh, these yeah. some niggas, bro. Yep, me and you looked at each other said, these some niggas, bro. Yep. Yeah, I remember bro, that. I, like, I remember yeah, that with me and I was, you. I was a little early. I was like, man, I feel like I'm on shoot at this motherfucker. Yup, yup. Yup. Banging, throwing them signs, hit each other up, boxing that motherfucker. We like, shit. This, mm-hmm. bro, get man. the fuck out of here, yep. man. Yup. It's mad that, that, that shit in there. Yeah, that's what it hit. I was like, man, if these ain't our people, man. Exactly. I don't know who yep. is. Yup. That's them. You know what I'm saying? They, 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 that's that envy of Judah, man. Like the brother mentioned, Jay's, uh, the tight, the, the pants ain't or tight around the ankles. You know what I'm saying? Starts down, all that type of shit that that Judah does. Uh, that the Northern Kingdom is, is doing, man. That's right. You know. Uh, go ahead, bro. On okay. that. Okay, brother. Uh, this is finishing in verse 13. The envy of Ephraim shall depart, and the uh, adversaries of Judah shall be cut off. Ephraim shall not envy Judah, and Judah shall not mm-hmm. vex Ephraim. That's beautiful, right, man. Judah should not, yeah, Judah should not face Ephraim. If you want to speak on it, go ahead. Huh? Hey, hey, well, hey, a uh, perfect example of that is when, you know, we was in high school, man, and even junior high, man. You know, you had Judas there always picking on a mess with uh, 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 Latinos for no reason, man. Vexing, vexing uh, uh, Ephraim just because they could, man. You know? Picking on them things of that nature. Well, we're not going to have in the kingdom of heaven, man. Or you had back in the day, uh, you know, Judah used to rob uh, 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 Issachar, man, on payday. You know, because Issachar was illegal. They would get uh, all they, they would get paid in cash. So you had cats out there that used to, you know, uh, sneak uh, 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 Issachar and take the money, man. Take the money, bro. Vexing them. You know, that's yeah, not going to yeah, happen man. anymore, that's, man. That's true, man. Yeah, Duke J just always, dude always fucking with uh, uh, car man. I had a homeboy that worked at a warehouse uh, with Iskar right in there. That's nothing that you to do. Uh, some Iskars that, that are over here, they don't be here long, say they, they English is not real strong. They fuck with them, man, because because of the language barrier. Right. You know what I'm saying? They're always making fun of them because they may not be able to support, pronounce certain words. And so I had a homeboy that worked with this uh, right and uh, he, he, uh, his English wasn't all too good, but they used to always fuck with each other. They had hatred. They would battle as far as picking and production work, and he would just yell out, "Yo, stupid old, just just fucking with Jake." Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Just being an asshole, man. Yeah, and, that's, that's, and that's what Judah does, man. They they vex the hell out of, out of, out of Ephraim. Yeah, Ju- Judah. You just, know, but but all that all that's oh, yeah. say what? No, I was just agreeing with you, bro. Judah's a jerk, man. Yeah, yeah, Judah's a real <laughs> jerk. Man. Judah just talk shit, and fuck with everybody, you know. <laughs> Judah, I always think they're a goddamn comedian. Yeah, man, Judah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. What's up with Rico, you, you fake ass? You know, just Jake is asshole, man. But all that's going to come to come or not, man. All that's going to come or not, bro. We're not going to be looking at our yeah, brothers yeah, anymore I'll, like that. You, you can see that. Yep. Come on. And he, he, you can see even amongst, a, a little bit, every time, sometimes little amongst the people that, that don't really know the truth, man. They're even kind of, uh, they're, they're even kind of a little bit seeing this this devil for what it is. Come, you know what I'm saying? And not not all, not all of them, but but you know they're they're starting to, they're starting to kind of see that this is some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? They might not be able to know the truth. But they know it's some bullshit. But, you know what I'm saying? They're, they're, everybody's starting to see that. This, yeah, yeah, they like that. It's some bullshit. Hold on, hold on, fam. You know what, what I'm saying? What about this so-called white man though? Come, hey, I got you know, a, I got so, a so, testimony. So I said, I got a testimony of that, man. I was, we, we was chilling at the bar, and it's a car. He was like, man, fuck, man, fuck these white people, man. Walked up to us, like, man, fuck these white people, man. Trump, all them niggas, man. I was like, all right, cool. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah. yeah it, but, it, you know, it, it's good for it's a car. And he letting Charles to see that because he letting Charles real comfortable down here. You know what I'm saying? And they think that the white man is, is okay with them, man. You know? God, God. But real soon they're gonna get the yeah, okie okay though too. Oh, slack out. No, go ahead, huh? No, I'm just saying, yeah, they, they like you said, they're, they're starting to see, man. They, they, they've been comfortable, but now it's just starting to be so much in their face that they, they can't hide it. They can't really uh, bypass it no more. You know, so we ignore it. Right. Like these, these motherfucking crackers hate us, bro. Right. You know? And, and it's, starting to, it's starting to be manifest, you know? That's right. Okay, so, uh, so okay, go ahead and continue on that, Isaiah. Okay, kind of. Uh, 
I think that, well, you want me to keep on going verse 14? Because I want to see Yeah, verse 14. Verse 14. But they shall fly upon the shoulders of the Philistines towards the west. They shall spoil them of the east together. They shall lay right, their... Right, together. Yeah, I just want to speak on that part. Yo, we're going to spoil uh, them from the east together, man. So when we... When the Most High is going to bring those two tribes back, those two nations, uh, the, the two kings back together. And we're we going to kick ass together, man. That's right. All right. When we, we get turned into hunters, after, after this fishing period is over with, man, we're going to get in together as a nation. You know what I'm saying? We're we going to spoil together, man. And we're going to build up this world on the Yahweh Shah together, man. That's right. As, as one as one nation, you know what I'm saying? That's how it's supposed to be. You know? Uh, uh, go ahead on that. I can, uh, it said, uh, Yaakov, if you can grab Ezekiel 37 for me. Go ahead, bro. They shall lay their hand upon Edom and Moab. And the children of Ammon shall obey them. Mm. Go, we'll That's it, man. We're going we to put foot to ass to all these other nations, man. That's right. All right. We're going to have the, 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 the luxury and glory of getting in together, man. Uh, alongside, alongside of our brothers. Okay. Uh, yeah, then, uh, yeah, we're going to have Ezekiel 37. And then I had the Amos 9. Then that, that's all I had. Okay, go on. Uh, Ezekiel 37 and 12. Uh, I start at verse 15 and read down the verse 20. Uh, read all the way down to 24. Okay, God. Con. This is Ezekiel uh, 37, verse 15. The word of the Lord came again unto me, saying, Moreover, thou son of man, take thee one stick and write upon it. For Judah and children of Israel, his companions, then take another stick and write upon it. For Joseph, the stick of Ephraim, and for all the house of Israel, his companions. All right, and that's what we're seeing right now. That's why we have the 12 tribes signed up there. That's right. Uh, though we have those two sticks, and we brought them back together, man, as a representation of what you have by Shema Shai doing amongst the elect. Okay, so that, that's that's the reason for the 12 tribes signed up there. You know what I'm saying? We put those two sticks together, and now we have the 12 tribes, and we break that down amongst people that, that come by and, and take a look at it, you know? That's right. All right, go ahead, bro. And join them one to another into one stick, and they shall become one in thy land. One stick. There we go. So I'll try something. Go ahead up. God, if I could also say, you know, and, and that's a, a that story in Genesis with with uh, Joseph and his brothers, you know, when they had sold them, I think, to some Ishmaelites. Mm -hmm. You know, they were separated for, for that period of time. And, you know, and then when uh, um, when Joseph had brought his brothers, you know, in, into that, uh, uh, into his, uh, into his, I guess, his place of dwelling, you know, and, and they found out that, that, that there was his brother, you know, Joseph, too, you know, he started crying and took him in, you know, and, and that, you know, that's just representing uh, uh, when we're going to be brought back together. That's right. You know? That's right. Uh, that's right, my brother. I'm going to continue on this. Uh, Uh, verse 20 and the sticks whereon thou writest shall be in thine hand before their eyes verse 21 and say unto them thus saith the Lord power behold I will take the children of Israel from from among the heathen whether they be gone and will gather them on every side and bring them into their own land uh -huh. Go ahead. and I will make them one nation in the land upon the mountains of Israel Right, you're going to make us one nation, man. All right, he's like I said, like we've been saying, man, the prophecy is he's going to ultimately, uh, at, the end, at the end of the day, when this thing is all said and done, when he sets us back in the land, he's going to set us back in the land as one nation again. That's right. Okay? Uh, of, the, of the nation of Israel, man. That's right. Yahshua Allah, man. We're we going to be all, all princes. You know what I'm saying? No matter where we came from, no matter if it's a barrio, a hood, a reservation, we all will be princes at the end of the day, man. That's right. Ruling uh, with our hearts desire on uh, the will of Yahweh by Shinem and Shah, man, in unity. Like it's supposed to be, man. It ain't gonna be, you know, when we, when we get a chance to see each other, it's always gonna be a Shalom, like Yahweh by Shinem and Shah, you know? You see a, you see a Iskarite kid um, come walking down the street, you know what I'm saying? You're gonna see uh, where, where the land he's from. Yep. You send him all the gifts, man. That's right. It ain't gonna be no, get, get your wet back ass off my, off my lawn. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It ain't gonna be none of that. You know what I'm saying? It'll be Shalom, young God. Hey, 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 come on here, you know what I'm saying? Hey, hey you know, it's, all, yeah. it's, nothing, it's right. nothing but love and gifts, man. That's right, brother. Man. You know? 
and then that's gonna be a beautiful thing, man. That's right. You know, but, but give each other daughters, so each other sons. From you know, you know that, that's how it's gonna be, man. In the kingdom of heaven. That's right. Hey, go ahead, up. Uh, uh, back at verse twenty-two, and I will make them one nation in the land upon the mount. Yeah, like you. verse twenty-one. And, and say unto them, Thus saith the Lord Power, Behold, I will take the children of Israel from among the heathen, where they be gone, and will gather them on every side, and bring them into their own land. And I will make them one nation in the land upon the mountains of Israel. And one king shall be them all, and they shall be no more two nations, neither shall they be divided into two kingdoms any more at all. All right, so there's going to be no more division. I mean, we are kind of under one king, man. And that's going to be King David, man. That's right. All right. Uh, neither, go ahead, bro. Three, neither shall they defile themselves anymore with their idols, nor with their detestable things, mm. nor with any of their transgressions. Right, so, but I will stay. Right, so no, no, no more idol worship, man. That, that's what God said in the position we in the first place. You know what I'm saying? We had a lot of text commands written in the heart to where, hey, it, it's, it's going to be all good, man. There's not going to be any more divisions among us. As far as idols, uh, religions, beliefs, or anything like that, man. It's going to be all on one accord. That's right. Go ahead, bro. Uh, verse 20, uh, back at verse 23. But I will save them out of their, out of all their dwelling pla places, when they have sinned, and I will cleanse them. So shall they be my people, and I will be their God. Uh, uh, go ahead, bro. And Daniel, my servant, shall be king over them. And they shall all, be, and they all shall have one shepherd. They shall also walk in my judgments and observe my statutes and do them. Right. So David, uh, King David, man, is gonna is gonna be we're gonna be all under King David, man, and one shepherd. And who's that? Who's that ultimate shepherd? It's gonna be Yahweh, shot, man. That's right. Okay. God and the will of the heavenly Father, Yahweh, man. All right. And so man, it is. It's gonna be. It's gonna be beautiful, man. It's it's undescribable on this side, you know. To, to, to consider the things that we go through now, how we treat each other, man. We treat each other like pure shit. It's a shame. For, for no apparent reason, man. No whatsoever. All because it's, you know, all because the damn devil has it ingrained in us, man, to, to hate one another, man. Right. You know? Okay, like, right, okay. if someone get out that Amos 9 11, then that's all I had. God. This is Amos 9 and 11. And that day will I rise up the tabernacle of David that is falling. And close the tabernacle of just falling, man. All right, it, it fell down, man. Why? Cause oh, it's like uh, yeah, and um, the tabernacle of David fell, man. When? Okay, after King David passed, and after Solomon went off, that's when the Mosai uh, pretty much took down Israel. Then we start going to captivity after captivity, captivity, man. Yep. Okay. Go ahead. Up. And close up the breaches thereof, and I will raise up his ruins, and I will build it as in the the days of old. Right, you call it the rules that build us in the days of old, man. Uh, how? Yeah, man, because right now we have all type of breaches uh, in our nation. Okay, we have a breach that there, there's an opening, a vulnerable point, man. And we, we looking like Swiss cheese right now as a nation. Come on, bro. You know what I'm saying? There's, there's so many vantage points where demons and the so-called white men can get at us, man, and keep us down. So you have Bashim al going to have to to uh, to intervene you know what I'm saying? And he's going to have to put his spirit on us and, and program us. You know what I'm saying? To where there are going to be no breaches. He's going to close those up. You know what I'm saying? We're going we to end up being a, a nation, man, with rulership forever. You know? Uh, was, that the, was that the end of verse 11? Or? Yes, kind. Of. Want me to keep going? Uh, no, no, I just wanted verse 11. If that's okay, kind. Of, kind. Of. Okay, kind, of, kind. Of. Yeah, that's, that's all I had. If y'all brothers uh, had any uh, closing points or any other precepts or anything, La ah, brother. No, I'm good. Uh, that's all I have. Okay. Kind of, kind of, kind of. Well, hey, Lord willing, uh, brothers is edified. You know what I'm saying? And, um, hey, let's just keep fighting. As uh, you see the prices unfolding, uh, the trials are being put back together. This white man's coming down. It's only a matter of time, man, before our big brother comes back and we go home. Kind of. Okay. So, with that, I uh, just want to give all praises to you. How? By Hashem. Yahweh Shah. Double honesty, apostle, and it was a great meal. So I'm going to go well. Blessings to the elect. Shalom. Shalom.